Did you know that you could change the view of items in a folder on the dock? You can even change the sort order. As an example, what I like to do is have my downloads folder in the dock. And then I'm able to easily access any items that I've recently downloaded. But what I need to do also with that is make sure that it is sorted by the last item that was added. That's what we're going to look at in this video, how we can change how they are shown, our files and folders are shown within the doc, as well as how we can change the sort order. Let's go over to my Mac. Now you'll see that I am using Mac OS Ventura. When I go up to the Apple menu here, and we go to About This Mac, you're going to see that I'm using Mac OS Ventura. What I'm going to show you is not a Mac OS Ventura specific feature. This has been around on the Mac since Mac OS X came out. So if you're using an older version of Mac OS, you're going to have the same exact options. Apple has not changed how this works throughout the years. So now let's take a look at our folders in the dock. First thing that I need to do is I need to add some folders to the dock. If we go down to my dock here, you're going to see I have a vertical line here. Anything to the left of it is my favorite apps. I cannot place a folder to the left of this vertical line. But what I can do is place it to the right of it. Of course, we don't want to place it into the trash. So what I'm going to do is add my Applications folder and my Downloads folder. Let's actually add my Documents folder to it too. So how do we do that? Well, all we have to do is just use drag and drop. So I'm going to open up a new Finder window. And what I'm going to do is go over to my Documents folder here. And I just drag this down to the right side of that vertical line and I've added my Documents folder there. Let's go and add a couple more. We're going to go to Notes. Again, I just take this and drag it over to the right side of that vertical line again, and we're going to go to Applications. Same thing. Just drag it and place it there. So now I have three folders in my dock here. Now you're going to see that what they're doing is they're reflected or the files are reflected by showing as a stack. So I have a stack of applications. I have a stack of documents that are in my downloads folder. I have a stack of documents that are in my documents folder. What we're able to do is change how this is shown here in the doc. And we can also change when we click on them how it is shown. So this is what is called a grid view. So when I click on any one of these, it's going to go into a grid view. This is actually how I like to have my Applications folder shown. All I have to do is just swipe up to open up that application that I'm looking for. But when I'm in my Documents or Downloads, I like to have this shown in a different view. Well, in order to change the view, what we do is we Control click on it, hold down the Control key, and I click. And you're going to see I have a few different options here. The first one here is, we're just going to go from the bottom up. The first one here is, how do we want to view that content? By default, what it's going to do is go into automatic. So depending on how many files are in that folder, it's going to change between a fan grid and a list. So if I have a lot of items in this folder, it would not show as the grid, which is what it's doing right now. It would probably show as a fan. Fan is really good for a lot of different items. So generally speaking, what I will do is I will take it out of automatic and select them manually. So in this case here, I want my downloads folder here to open up in a fan. I select it. Now it's going to open up in a fan. Let's go ahead and do that for my applications and my documents. So I go over to my applications. I control click. And we're going to go with a grid here. I like the grid view for this one. And then my documents here, I'm going to go into a list view. So I control click. And we have list. So now I have fan, grid, and list. Let's take a look at the difference between these. So now I just go over to my applications. We've seen this. This is the grid view. No matter how many applications I put in here now, it's always going to show in this grid view. I can tap on the letter to get to that specific application, and it'll go to it. So I have Zoom in here. All I have to do is hit Z, and you're going to see it goes over to Zoom. Makes it really easy to get to my applications. Well, for my downloads, this is going to show as a fan. So when I click on this, you can see it. it's a fan. And you're going to see that 
Up towards the top, I have 71 more items. And if I want to open those up, I click on this arrow here, and it opens up that window, and I'm looking at all of my items here. Now what I like to do with this is have the latest item that I've downloaded show at the bottom. I'll show you how you do that shortly. The last thing we're going to look at here is our Documents folder. This one I opened up as a list. So I click on it, and we can see that it is a list. And with the list, what I'm able to do is open up folders. So they're nested folders. I can go into those nested folders. So this is really nice for my Documents folder. If I just click on the folder here, it's going to open up that folder. So it works really nice for my Documents folder. All right, let's take a look at our next option. The next option is for how we want to show it here in the doc. Right now these are all stacks, stacks of documents. Well, when I control click on this, let's go to my documents here and I control click on it. What I'm able to do is display it as a folder or a stack. So with my documents folder, I like to have this as a folder. So I click on folder and now we can see that that is a folder. And when I click on it, I have my list and I can go into my different folders. Now with my Downloads folder, I do like to have this as a stack. So then I can see the last file that I've downloaded. It's going to be on top of that stack. The Applications folder, I can go both ways with this one. Sometimes I like to have it as a stack so I can see what my first application is. Or if I want to change it, I can click on it. And we go over to Folder. And I have my Applications folder. Sometimes I like that. So I click on it and I can see all my different applications. So depending on how you want to view it in your dock, all you have to do is just control click on it and select if you want it to be a stack or if you want it to be a folder. Now let's look at our last option and that is sorting. For my Applications folder here, I like to have it sorted alphabetically. But as I mentioned, for my Downloads folder, I like to have the last item that was added to this folder to be down towards the bottom here. For my Documents folder, I like to have this one alphabetically as well. So how do we do that? Well, again, we go back over to our Control Click. I Control Click on it, and for my applications, I like to have it sorted by name. This is how it's going to go by default. But I can change it to date added, date modified, date created, and even the kind. Again, with applications, I'm just going to leave it at name. My next one here, downloads. I want to have this one sorted by when it was added. So I control click on it. And instead of by name, I'm going to select date added. So then the last item that I downloaded is going to be right on top there, right on top of that stack. So the last item that I downloaded, or added to this folder, I should say, is this image here. The item before that is this ICS file, this calendar file. Now for my documents, I like to have this one alphabetically as well. So I control click on it, and then we make sure that it is set for name. Now if I wanted to, I could go with kind. Let's go ahead and change it to kind just for fun. I select it, and now when I click on it, you're going to see that it is grouping all of my documents together. It's grouping all of my PDFs together, and it's grouping all of my folders together. And within those, it is sorting them alphabetically. So you may want to have it that way as well. So that is all we have to do to change the view as well as the sort order of our different folders within the doc. And again, this can change depending on which folder you want. In my case here, what I like to do is have the Applications folder in a grid view and sort it alphabetically. But with the Downloads folder, I want to see that last file that I've added to that, the last file that I've downloaded. So all I do is just change that sort order to Date Added, and I like to have it as a stack. And then, of course, I want to make it a fan because my Downloads folder gets pretty large. And that list would get pretty long if I used list. And a grid view just wouldn't work with over 100 items. That's where the fan comes in handy. Documents, that's a little bit more controllable. I don't have a lot of files in there, so I will use a list file for that. And then I also like to sort them by name, or you could do it by kind as well. So that is how we change our view, our sort order, and how our different files and folders are actually viewed when we have a folder in the doc on the Mac.